Nemesis down. There's no way he's dead. Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. I died. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Okay. Are we back to normal zombies now? Am I really already out of that much ammo? I used a lot more ammo than I thought I did. That's not good. Yes, all of you, come follow me. Chase me. Hey, look, handgun ammo. Oh, I passed it. It's back there. Fuck. Where are you, three? Come on. And surprise! So since I haven't been here yet, gun shop, hello. Yes, we're going there. You can have fun with your restaurant over there. I'm going to go over here. Can I just shoot it? Well, um, this place is so far very under... Semi-auto barrel? Never mind, it's not that... It's not that un over underwhelming anymore. I've got a semi-auto shotgun with six now. Six bullets now. Oh, but it takes up... It takes up two spots now. Ooh. That could get interesting. No uglies better be in here. I will be very unhappy. Hi, Kendo. I remember you from RE2. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We can use a man of your skill set. He has a kid from Resident Evil 2 that's infected. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You be better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. I think he has a daughter. Of course I have nowhere to put it. Sure. Why not?
I want to keep this just in case, but I'm not sure if there's going to be anything more. There's a red herb in there. Okay, let's save it. Thanks, I grabbed it already. Yeah. All right, pumpkin. All right. That's a good girl. So, for those of you guys that haven't seen Resident Evil 2 or played it, I watched the remaster of it. Kendo here has a daughter. His mom, the mom, or the wife, got infected. I think bit the daughter, or inf at least infected the daughter. So, Kendo killed the mom because she was fully gone. And now he's trying to just hang on with his daughter who is, like, turning and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's pretty rough. It looks like I've grabbed everything here. So, he's telling me to use this to get to the subway. I just want to check and see if I can go back and get that handgun ammo first, because handgun ammo is going to be really useful. Jeez, you must be really hungry. Nope, it's a one-time thing. Good to know. There's nothing down there, so we'll go this way. Definitely aren't friendly. Get spider crab off his face. Yeah, see, ammo is going to be really useful here. Which is why missing that ammo back, that, that just those 10 bullets is useful. Sounds like there's something in this other room. There's one of these things right here. Yep. Ugly. We're gonna go upstairs and take a look here. Raccoon Times Reader Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the manager's. Take that death rap trap down. Timothy Wiles, 69. Wait, so can I...
So I have to, so when I'm switching between them, I have to actually like switch. Like, it's not like it just has to reload three bullets. It actually has to pull the three out. I mean, it's pretty fast. It's not like it's super slow, but it's still like. Still is something that has to be done. So I've got to be mindful of that. And also I need to pay attention to what creatures I'm fighting. Are you serious? Oh shit. You have got to be kidding me. He's got an RP. Fuck you, bitch! Are you kidding me? No time. Jill, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed him. Thought I did too. Me too. God damn it. Dodge, please. Oh, that looked like it hurt. I don't die for some fucking reason. Oh, sure. Let's go back to a rooftop. That works. Come on, faster, please. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Oh, really? Get back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Okay. At least I kind of know where I'm at. are rolling. Oh, and he's right there. Excuse me, friend. I prefer someone not as aggressive and mean. You know, nice. Sure, no problem. Ah, to the gas station, where he has explosives, and this is a highly explosive area. <laughs> Makes sense. This is going to hurt. Oh, the Claymore. <laughs> Bitch. You okay? He's not. Go. Go. Come on, forget about him. Yeah, your, your bones ain't going to do shit to him. Good job. Pick that up and let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I missed something back there, but I don't care. <laughs> I was in run for your life mode. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well... What matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. And you'll be safe. Safe point up here. It's be the reason I go up here. At least there was a save up here at one point.
There was a save point there at one point. Which sucks, because I would love to have another one. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Fair enough. Although I wouldn't say there's much saving the city. Are you not coming with? Fair enough. Don't come with. Good work. Your <coughs> reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last bite out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. <laughs> you need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. Time to get off the train. Hmm. September 29th to 11 a.m. The subway car. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Bart is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> Our old friend Nemesis. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just go. They're gone. Come this way. Time to get off the train. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Oh. Oh. That is one way to derail a train. Definitely one way to derail a train. Ah, yes. Achievement. September 29, 234, the RPD West Gate. Oh, Wait, while. this is where Resident Evil 2 started. What took place was the RPD. Your hot date. <sighs> nah, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. Do I play as Carlos now? Wait, what? Okay. Right. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. This does not look like it's going to be fun. I'm going to save the AR as much as possible. Or pull the AR back out. That works. Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Not you too. Sorry. Sorry. Ah! 
this guy is in Resident Evil 2. That police officer. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Okay, fuck you. Defeat Zombie Brad. These stars. Actually, we're gonna put it up here. That hurt. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Intel's still worth a damn than Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. So he has a separate storage. Okay. I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. Sure. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. I don't want to be in Resident Evil 2. This place sucks. Station. Call you if I find anything. So am I going to be chased hey. by Nemesis? Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Oh yeah, there's still there's definitely still stuff to find around here. We'll do some looting first. So, for those of you guys that don't know, Resident Evil 2 takes place throughout this entire RPD area. Like, there's, it comes back here like two, three different times um, throughout the story. So, this is really interesting to be back here. Oh, wow. This is a different location. Up, this is upstairs. I'm trying to save as much of the green herbs as possible. If, if like, I'm fighting Nemesis, then I pop them a lot more often because it's a three-hit death. Um, but with zombies, I think I can take a few more hits than normal. So I'm just playing this slow here. Oh, I've, I could have noticed that was blue and didn't need to search here anymore. <laughs> I also hate how slow these guys run. I mean, Carlos makes sense because he's carrying all this gear, but I mean... Jill, come on. Okay, it's all been looted. Okay. Okay, stars is upstairs, so I need to go through reception and shit to get there. ID card security, September 16, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, on the same card, we will be... Ah, ha, ha. So I did. Ha ha! I'm glad I killed. I'm killed. I'm glad I killed Brad here. Assault rifle ammo. The 
hell was that thing? This might be just before Resident Evil 2. Like, this area might be just before Resident Evil 2. Because that body's there during Resident Evil 2, and that just happened. Was that Nemesis? Couldn't have been a zombie. Oh! Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's just painful to look at. No hat for you, bitch. Do you hear that, chat? Liquors! Not all. Oh, you're you're just a normal zombie. Okay. Those are liquors. Out of all the things I could possibly fight in this fucking place, I have to fight a liquor. Flash grenade. Okay. What does a flash grenade do for me? T, you copy? There's locker room cap. In here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Cap, C A P. Keep an eye. Remember that, chat. Come on, get it off. I spammed A! I spammed A as fast as I possibly could and it doesn't get- it, it filled out the bar! God!
Can you all stop being bitches? Thank you. You're still alive, huh? No, you aren't. You sit your fucking ass down and you stay there. Don't have a key. Fuck. I don't want to go that way yet. ammo. Handgun, handgun ammo, that's nice. Oh, I don't know that. Okay. Chat, keep an eye out for a code. Watch it be the same code from Resident Evil 2. Watch it be the same one. Oh, I can't. Doesn't this take me out to the main hall? Oh wait, I can't go through there. I'm not in Resident Evil 2, so yeah, I can't go through that. Rodney Gray, unemployed, unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was, suspect's person was searched, uh, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpse's attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. Something just opened to my right. And I'm not happy about it. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. There was something that sounded like something opened. Oh, Jesus. So I need to get into the safety deposit room. I'm waiting for a liquor to come through that window. If they decide to be nice, there was a safe room here in Resident Evil 2. Ha <laughs> ha, they did it again. September 22nd, 1998, Office Supply Internal Relocation Notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe move from STARS office to West office. 9-15-7. The combo is left 9, right 15, left 7. 
So 9, 15, 7. 9, 15, 7. 9, 15, 7. Well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Nine fifteen seven. Nine fifteen seven. Let's go back and get that opened. Zombie? Yep. Come back. Oh, there's two of you. Okay. Right. Nine. Fifteen. Seven. Got it. Let's go. I'm just gonna kill it because I'll have to come back for the safety deposit room, and I really don't want to play with more than I need to. Kind of fucked up shooting cops. Okay, I'm gonna hurry and save again before going much further. Okay, here we go. Back to walking, cause I'm ster I'm 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 terrified. that stars is up ahead but there's something above me as well you're definitely not dead called it Called it. He's dead. Key, huh? Cap, 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 cap. Wait, what? Okay, so there is one for the locker room, I believe is what it is. So locker room, there's one for cap, and then whatever that one is, we'll find later. There's the locker room. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Cap. Got it. Okay. 
Any uglies? Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. I need a battery. So this key that I have goes to this the safety deposit back here then. Jeez, a lot of back and forth. After I grab this thing, I'm going to save again. He wasn't ready. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Are you dead? <sighs> yes. Three F locker, that's upstairs. DCM. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? I have to waste a bullet on you? Fine. One zero nine, one zero six, one zero four. And one zero four. <clears throat> Mine now. Come the Papa. Wasn't there something over here? Two zero eight. I don't think I can pop 208 or 203. Well, yeah, I can't. <sighs> Fuck you. Onward. You... Bitch. <laughs> Fuck you too. 